Here is my boiler. This summer I might put it outside. Two days no heating. It's really cold in the house. By mistake we run out of kerosene. When I looked it was a quarter of a tank, but the bottom has less because of its shape. Never primed a boiler before, but I did the brakes in the car. Shouldn't be complicated. For any problems around the house, if you call someone, you might work only for them. You will end up with no money or very little money. Unless you have a well paid job. At the moment, I'm only exploring. Don't know anything about this boiler. Which way does this thing come out? Aha, uh -huh, that's the way. I have downloaded a manual for a similar boiler. Manual says to loosen the plug of the suction gauge. Number five is at the back. Here is the pump. I will follow the book instruction for priming. I might unscrew this bolt for bleeding even though the manual says I should do the one at the back. Here is the screw by the book below the copper pipe. No way for me to reach that screw. I have a good few 15 mm spanner but either too big or too small. Bad design or they do on purpose to need a special tool. I'm lining a rubbish bag underneath to not make a mess. It's much more simple and convenient than a container. Have ready loads of paper too in case of spillage. I'm removing the front screw for bleeding. I waited for 20 seconds as the manual says then pressed reset. It did spill a bit of kerosene. It's bleeding. Good. Good. It will not restart straight away, but after 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. I even tried to screw back the bowl when wasn't pumping to not get the air back. Then I left the screw out while priming like the book says. No luck for about 30 minutes. Some says to not press the reset button too many times. Pump doesn't like to run on dry. In my case, every single time I had some fuel coming out. It's taking a long time. The distance from our tank to boiler is quite big. A lot of air is coming out. It's taking very long to bleed.
Hooray! It worked! Stop it. It stopped working after a few minutes. I have unscrewed the feeding pipe and attached to it this car oil extraction pump from Lidl. A lot of air still in the pipe. Pumped about 20 seconds. When I saw no more bubbles coming from the pipe, I stopped. I checked a few times for leaks. Here is the feeding pipe, it has a flex hose. The moment of truth. Let's see if she fires. Hooray! I hope this time it's done properly. Boiler still working, no issues. I found this method much better and faster. Maybe if the pipelines were shorter, then the manual instruction would be okay. One more job done successfully. Who knows what's the price for bleeding the boiler is? It's interesting how much I saved.